blood and a giant pig to protest a salary increase for members of parliament. On Tuesday, hundreds of Kenyans protested outside parliament in Nairobi. No violence had been reported. This is the second gathering of its kind for the association Occupy Parliament. At the first event in mid-May, two dozen live pigs were present and litres of cow blood were spilt onto the pavement. This time the organisers have filled a fake pig with flowers outside the gates of parliament to avoid further problems with the law. Several members were prosecuted after the first event for animal cruelty. Some of us were arrested, arrested into a court and they put some panic changes which we know they are wrong, just a matter of making us chicken out. But we have said we shall not chicken out because we must pursue the rights of the common monarch. These Kenyans condemn the lifestyle of their members of parliament classified as greedy pigs. Parliamentarians of the country are amongst the highest paid in Africa and do not pay taxes. They are trying to obtain a salary increase of about 300,000 shillings. In the previous legislature, MPs earn nearly $10,000, 90 times Kenya's minimum wage. It is a problem because this is our money. The country simply cannot afford. It simply cannot afford. This country is poor. The average salary in this country is about 10, 20,000 shillings. Now they are getting 500, over 500,000, and still they say it's not enough. It is more than enough. Kenyan MPs are earning more than the Western MPs with the uh, GNP, which is many, many times higher than Kenya. The Salaries and Remuneration Commission, the independent government agency responsible for setting the salaries of the civil service, had decided to cut the wages of new members. The lower house elected in March has 128 more members than the previous one. Lower wages was part of a plan approved by the new president, Uhuru Kenyatta. It aims to reduce public spending and create jobs. They want that money, yet many Kenyans are suffering down there. We have a lot of, a lot of slums, slums down there, like Kibera. And for them, they don't think even about that. What they want is money. That's why they are on needs. So, if they are ready to serve Kenyans, we don't have any problem with them. But if they insist to be given that pay, pay high rise, we are not ready for that. In Kenya, the unemployment rate hovers around 40%.